like I said earlier, this is the only thing I'm going to do today because it's the best thing to do. And it's blowing up the planet without us. But <clears throat> I'm going to even give this two shots today, meaning you got to give it a retake because if it, it could set up quick. And if it does, I'm going to take it aggressively. And then if if for some reason it flips, I'm going to stay with it. I'm really not going to watch anything else today because this is kind of a wild one with the gap and watching it all morning here, sitting here watching it trade. But I really think this goes to $21 today. <laughs> I think I really think this goes to $21 today. Right. Well, it could go to $21 by now. But market, like I said, is pretty much neutral today because we're still strong. But I don't think we necessarily go anywhere higher today but i don't think we fall so it's kind of a weird um, i rated the rl that's valid you can do it it's kind of pricey but it's fine i also rate look at the volume in this wow just noticed that now. I mean, I looked at it earlier, but wow, oof. I don't remember the last time I saw this much volume in something pre-market. It's been a long time. Look at that volume. When I say I like this gap, all of you that are in here, you play it with your normal risk. All right. I don't want to hear any stories if we have to retake it twice. Very focused today. And I'm going to give us the cushion because the spread's changing like way too much. <laughs> so I'm going to have to give it a good cushion. What did I say? 24. Yeah. Let's see if this holds 24. I'm not saying it has to hold 24 either. But it's, it's, it's going up there right now. <laughs> Let's just see. If this reverse switches, I'm not doing it. It's the only way. Okay, just let this just let this be. Don't anybody jump into this yet. This is a wild. It's a pharma. Just don't do anything with this in the first minute. Here, it's going to go for 24. All right, let's just see where it goes. <clears throat> See if it holds 30. Okay. If we do this here, stop's going to be 2430. I don't have the entry yet. Jeez, this is not going to be small. This is going to be way bigger than what I thought. So stop's going to be 2430. We can do 65 by 30. 65 by 30. 65 by 30 VRX. And this is not a small stop, but I'm doing it. Here, let's take it at 69. No, get it here. Get it, get it, get it. Get it. Get the stop in. Get the stop in. Crap. I, I said let's take it at 69. Here, I'm in. I'm in. I was going to take it at 69 and I felt like as soon as it broke 70, it's going to be in here. Everybody's a different price, I'm sure, but just make sure you're in it. Make sure you're in it. In fact, we're going to put the stop. We're going to put the stop at 25 now. 25, 24, 25. I'm lowering it. This should not get over it. So this is a bigger stop than I anticipated, except for the fact that it's, this is it. It's not going to lift over itself now. This is it. Be in it. $21. It's way bigger than I thought. Here. What did I say? The first number was, oh my gosh, I was even going to take it at 69. Here. Wow, I knew it. This is it. It was like as soon as I said take it at 69, it broke and hit the original number. All right, I'm letting this roll on down. Let this roll on down. This is really, really good. This is a big bar here. Hold on. I knew that was the one. I knew it. All right, market, nothing. 
Shoot. All right, here. See what happens. This could have another entry. I pulled it down to 25. I don't think I'm going to regret that because of the size of the bar. But you could have you could have gotten out of some there, but I don't think there was a reason to. And we're gonna we're gonna take more and lower the stop, I think, here if this does something different. Let's just wait. I'm really gonna try to be patient with this. We're not gonna need a retake. This has to hold immediately or it's not gonna work. So you're in it, full on. You could still have the stop at 30 if you want. Here, if you didn't even get it, you could still do it now. Maybe we should put it back to 30. I always say that. Here, let's just put it back to 30, just to be safe. Cause I'm not taking any more. I just decided. Here, you can do it if you want to. I'm already in it. This Here it goes, here it goes. You gotta try to let this break 23. I think once it breaks 23, it falls off a complete and total planet. Here we go, under 23, 25, this is a nice call. Hit, hit hard though. We've had these ones. Yesterday, was that the day or last week? What was the other one that just fell and hit? Here. Yes. All right. Everybody can do something different. What you want to do, if you want to get out of it at 22, crap. Should we get out of it at 22? 22.50? I really just think this company completely falls off the planet once it breaks 23. I mean, this stock can really, really go. Like, really go. Like, this stock can go 4 or $5 on a day. It's, it's $21 as a target on this today. It's 9.35. Let's just see. I put the stop back to 30. You could scale out of some if you want. I'm still in it. It just was a big stop. And I want it to break below. It didn't have another entry though. Tricky one. Okay, you could, if you really wanted to get aggressive, you could take more in here. But the stock, to be honest with you, really has to be the same. It's either twenty-five or thirty. And you could have scaled out of some of this. You could have scaled out of some of this in here. It dropped all the way down. I didn't, but. I hope I don't regret it. Let's see. Okay. Oh, this is it. Well, we're not redoing it either. We're not redoing it. I stayed with the trade. I didn't get out of any. We were up money. I didn't add any more. This is wild. Stops 2430. We're not redoing it. I'm going to hold it on through now. I didn't get out of any down in there. I wanted a bigger move. I wanted the break. I still like it or I would just kill it here. It's This is a really wild stock though. This is how these farmers are. I'm held though. Wow, by the hair of our skinny chinners. All right. Under 23.43, you could take more. This is crazy. I'm not, though. You could do 40, 42 by 30. I'm in the original train, and, and we're up money down in here. I didn't take any out. This ran back up, held the high. If this holds the high here, this is going to collapse like I thought, and it's going to, jeez. These are these pharmas are really wild. You know, this, this stock trades like it's worth way more than it, like it used to be. I hope I am not being too patient today. Okay, 
This is valid. 69 by 30. 69 by 30 VRX. Here, it's going to hit. This is going to take us down, and we're going to get it through the low. Wow. This is wild. Market is climbing today. That isn't helping the VRX, but do, do, do. it's fine. All right. Wow. Here. All right. Let's note. No piggers. No piggy targets. Through the low, I'm going to get out of half just because we suffered through this rally. really break if it breaks the low which is why i think it's out of any i didn't think it was gonna rally up a dollar though here we're still in it and it's gonna collapse again Woo! all right who did what did anybody get out of any there i don't think we can lower the stock but just let me look I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna leave it. You really could take another train here if you get out of some. You could. What we could have done is take it all out and add back in here. I had no idea it was gonna rally all the way back to that high. This is good though. Here it hits. It's hitting on the one. This is good. And the market didn't help. This will go over when we're done. But actually, wow, nice call here and nice job here. Me staying with it. Me staying with it. I hope everybody stayed with it. And here we go through the low. Here, this is the move that I wanted under the low. Woo! This stock can rock and roll. It just really. This is. I know it's only $23, but you got to understand how these pharmas are. R squared, did you do it? This was crazy. Here we go. The stock was just way bigger than I planned, and that's not the reason. I really just like the gap. Here. Boop, boop, boop. Wow. It's going to do it. But honestly, any push through the low, I'm going to take out of half. Here it goes. Wow. This is a nice trade. Hard, but good. Oh, hold on. I'm going to stop talking. We're going to jinx it. All right, no more talking. Gala had added, okay. Boot's still in it. I hope everyone is still in it. Boots is still in it. Shower Singer did it twice. That's another option. You could have done it, got out, done it again, got out, but you never know. You never know. I mean, who would have thought? But I'll tell you, people went long this year. Wrong thing to do. It's a short. All right, under 33. Wow, this is a nice trade, and I stayed with it too. And you know what the thing is? I knew, and I said to myself, I said it. NCOF, 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 or I want to stay with it. No chance of failure, VRX today. And when I looked at this, I thought, geez, this could go like $4 today. I'm thinking 21 is like not crazy. Here's the five minute. Here's the five minute. Boots is going to be up a low 23. Once it hits 23, though, it should go like that. In fact, maybe if it has a hard bar under 23, we'll just take it all. Let's just see what. Because people bought this here, and it's only 17 cents from the number. You don't even, look, this doesn't even have any jiggies going on here. Do you see this? This is the daily. It's like, I have no coloration. I want to see a coloration. That's what we're going to get. I want to see a nice rubber band happening here. Until that, there's no reason to exit it in my mind. And boy, are we going to get it. Let's just quickly look at the market. Wow, market is so strong, people. And I thought we'd be neutral today. I said neutral slash bullish or neutral slash bearish. But look how strong we are. It's a lovely, lovely day. Okay, you could even do a kamikaze train if you did the first one and got a lot left. You want to do a 31 by 70. 31 by 70 kamikaze. Did the five minute hit? No. So we, we, we need 31. <clears throat> 31 by 70 kamikaze. I'm not lowering the stop. Well, I am going to lower the stop. I'm going to put it at 25. No, I'm just going to leave it. I think that jinxes me sometimes when I do it. <laughs> here, here, 31. Here, wow. Do, 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 do. All right, after this, we're going back to bed. No, Gerard has to talk today. Here, under the low, under 17, 2317 VRX. Fall off a planet immediately. Go. Wow, we were in the mood for one of these. And you know what the thing is? It's not even earnings season yet. How many 
people sweated a bullet when it rallied back up to the top? Write it in the room. Who sweated a bullet? Who killed it? Great job holding it. We're going to get paid now. Here we go. Under 17. But this is why you use a stop. Here. Go. There we, here we go. This is, here we go. You see the red? You see the red? You see red, 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 red? That's what I want to see. Let it just pull itself into the redness. Quick, surf dog, short 100,000 shares. <laughs> Under the low. Here. <laughs> Woo, Paul's missing a good trade. Oh, there you are. Paul, what can I say? Here. Let the rubber band take hold. This was a nice call. Here, let's see where it goes. Any, any break under 23, though, I'm going to take half. Unless it does a big move, I'll take it all. What is today, Tuesday? Shoot. Feels like a Friday. Shoot, you stinker. No, it didn't break 23 yet. Hold on. I'm not suffering through a rally back all the way up to the high, though. Here, hold on. 23.12. Here, here we go. Like that's... Here. What do I always say? Do exactly what I do. Do exactly what I do. Do the calls that I do. Do exactly what I do. Exactly what I do. Here we go. Here we go. Wow. This is what I want to see. 75 is the next number. Now you're going to get the push. Okay, I'm getting out of half of this soon, though, if it does something crazy. Like go over 24, but I'm not going to go through that again. Here. Here, I'm going out of half, 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 and I'm putting the stop back to 25. Do whatever you want, because I just saw the time of the day. Time of the day, time of the day, it's got to take half. It could push back, 25. All right, do whatever you want to do. Do whatever you want to do. Bottom line is I just took half, because it's 9.45. Yep, but I still think this keeps going. Watch, it'll, it'll go now. It's just here. I had to take some. There was too much of a thing. stand it when I get texts when I'm trading. It's really annoying. But I have to have my phone with me because I have too many different clocks, too many different times. All right, I got out of half. You could take the whole thing if you want. But I didn't because I think we get one more push. And just, you know, it's just, this is just a small, tiny, beany baby for this stock. I really just, here, let's look at the daily. No, this is, this is going to go to 20. Look at this. Look at this. See, this is what I'm talking about. And I'm not saying hold this for $25 or whatever this bar did over here. It was crazy. But I'm saying I, I think it's worth holding. Uh, but I did get out of half. So we're profitable today no matter what. But, but look at that. Let's just look at a normal day. See, a normal day on this is like $4. See, a normal, here, whoop, here we go. A normal day on this is four, $21. $21, $21, $21. Here we go. All right, great job, Galahad did the ad. What did anybody do? I hope every single solitary person did the trade, stayed with the trade, didn't get out of the trade, did everything right, whether you check more or less or whatever you did. Everybody, I hope you did it. Boy, I'm on point now. I need to take more vacations. When I take vacations and come back, I, I'm perfect. I never make any mistakes. <laughs> I need to take a vacation once every 60 days. And then what if we would never lose? If I go on a vacation once every 60 days for one week, or once every 90 days for two weeks, 
how long was I off? Whatever, that time I'm off, it's something that happens and I become a normal person and I come back and then I trade perfectly. Here, do whatever you wanna do though. I think this is worth one more push, but you might have to suffer back up, but it should go nowhere near where we were before, which was, which was crazy, but we'll go over it. Boots made money, good. Out and done, good call, thanks. Galahad's out of half. All right, let's look at everything. NDP, this worked. Wow, this had the smallest of the stops. You could have done this and it worked. I didn't do anything with this at all. In fact, I didn't even rate it. I had it as a secondary watch. This had a beautiful move with a small stop. This actually still has target. If this backs up, 1550, this has got another 80 cents to go. I don't remember the reason for that gap, but that actually has a had a beautiful setup. TRU, I think Trader Gal NYC asked about this. There is two Trader Gals in here. One is a, a normal room member, Trader Gal Normal. Trader Gal NYC is here for the for the conference. I hope he didn't do this. I really wasn't crazy about it. I never even rated it. RL flipped. Ralph Lauren. The poor baby. Look at the stock. Well, oh, this is taking a tumble. What's happening with these things? Nobody, nobody's buying any clothes anymore. Everyone's, everyone's uh, buying shoes or I don't know. No one wants to spend any money on high-end stuff. Look at how that stock was off by over 200 bucks. Wow. That's really, that's really lost a lot of money in the last year. Let's look at this one. That was the C, what the heck was it? C, C L T L. what was the other one that Trader Gal wanted me to look like? I don't even remember. What was the other one that was the, whatchamacallit one? JBL, ooh, I'm sure we didn't do that, that flipped. All right, let's see where this goes. What was the other one, the CT something something? I think it helps to get out of some here. I, I, I got to get back into a groove of doing that here. I really think it helps. We're going to get the rest of this down here now as long as we, as far as we can go. It's, it helps to get out of something. I don't even know if it matters if you get out of a third, a quarter, a half, but if you can get out of something, you feel better about holding it. I, I really, and I'm not saying holding it long. It's, it's, you know, 10 o'clock. We got to watch that time, but I'm just saying if you can get out of something, anything, it really does help. What was the one that started with the C that somebody asked about, though? CTLT. Oh. That worked. Small move because it was a something with the stock. It had a baby. It was a good stop. This did work. I'd be out of it, though. Uh, Z? I didn't even look at this this morning. I don't see anything here to, to do. Trader gal, you're getting nuts. You're getting a little crazy. But because I like you, I'm not yelling at you. All right, here we go, VRX. Here we go, let's see if it gets down to 22. Out of VRX, it's dropping now. Let it try to go to at least to 22. Well, I'm just never going to do five trades and I'm never going to short, you know, up gaps like that, but we all have to do what we need to do. If you were a new person, though, I'd yell at you. <laughs> You're not, though. <laughs> so I'm not going to. It's hard, though, and there's two trader gals in the room. All right, under 2252. You don't have any trader boys. We don't have any trader guys. Somebody should call themselves a trader man. <laughs> trader guy NYC we need. We have a trader M. All right, let me look at the market and figure out what I'm doing with this. Hold on. Enough of the jokes. All right, uh, the spy. I don't even know why I'm saying I'm surprised that we're green today. 
don't even know why I'm saying I'm surprised. Nothing surprises me anymore. NDP is still going, but, uh, you know, this is a kamikaze in here, Ashley. Are you saying you want to do it now? I mean, I don't know, Ashley. This is, you know, 30 minutes into it. I, I wanted more of a rally back up to call this another time. I mean, I didn't call it the first time because we did the VRX, but I'm just saying I just got to pay attention to my trade here. But didn't you do this, Ashley? was going to say, I forget what, what am I talking about, what were we talking about, it's so funny, I'm just, I'm just going to give this one more push, it was, it was 50 cents off the whole number, and, and we're getting into 10 o'clock, I, I'm not going to, I don't want to see any green bars here in this five minute Let's just see. Let's just get one more push down in this, and then I, then I'm then I'm probably gonna get it out of it. We were aggressive on this today. I never thought, here, let's just go over it because I'm, I'm going to hold it for one more push. This, this, I really was surprised actually that this retested the high given the first bar, but, but it did. I, I fully, fully, fully believed in the gap and it rated so well. So, so I, I, you know, I held the trade through, but then I, in the back of my mind, I'm like, crap, should I've taken some out, but, but it held, you know, so. The thing is that I was surprised. I was surprised by the first bar and the push back up to retest the high, but ultimately it didn't matter. The sell-off took over, which you know is the sellers and the shorts, which is the, which is the gap, and that's why it sold off. But some people did buy this here, and do you know that some people are even buying this here? Somebody's buying this here. Not not me. It's the wrong thing to do, but you know somebody's trying to get some kind of pushback up in this. It's just so crazy. Thinking it's done, it's not done. Sometimes that's what helps you is keep going down, 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 and go to some crazy number. So you go to $20 today, but it might be two o'clock in the afternoon. I'm not gonna be in it till then. We maybe could lower the stop here on this, but every time I do that, it. I mean, we could just put it a break even. <clears throat> I just, you know what? Let's just do that. Let's just do that to appease the trading gods. Let's let's put let's put it a break even, or let's put it at. Um, Let's put it at 85. If you're still in any of this at all, put it at 85, all right? That's not tight, okay? If you want to be tight, you could put it at 65, and if you really wanted to be tight, you could put it at 25. This is just not, this is just gonna keep going though. So I really think this keeps going, so otherwise I'd just take it. It's profitable even with the second half here. And if you really want to be out by 10, you could just, you could, you could time your trades with 10 o'clock. I, I don't, I think this should break through the low in the next five to 10 minutes, but it is 956. We got more than a buck out of it.
the 15 minute bar isn't going to close for three more minutes. All right, let's go over the trade. Let's go over the trade and we'll look at everything else and then we'll just see what happens with this here at 10 o'clock. But I did lower the stop and, and you could have been even, you could be tighter. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> In fact, I'm gonna make another call here, but I'm not doing any more because it's too, it's too, it'll pull my price down. If you really wanna do this again, you could, you could short this 99 by 15. That's a, that's a kamikaze call if I ever heard of one and it's very, very late, but it's 10 o'clock. If you got all out of this, you could short this right here at 99. Here, it just hit. 99 by 15. This is a kamikaze, but it could go another dollar. I mean, I'm not doing that. It would just ruin my price. <coughs> but there, it just hit. Jeez. All right. So anyways, this opened bigger bar than expected, but actually made me feel a high level of conviction that it wouldn't take us out. It did not take us out, but it did a retest. That wasn't what I originally wanted to happen. But anyway, some people got all out here. Some people got out of portion. I didn't, and I was like, crap. But anyways, it held. Anyways, then you could have taken more, and then it dropped all the way down. And this looks good. I mean, there's, there's nothing wrong with this. And you could, you could be all out of it here, and some people are. So I got out of half, and I'm trying to get one more, one more. And I don't know how long I'm gonna wait it, but. I did lower the stop. This looks great though, people. There's nothing wrong with this. Any questions about anything with anyone here? Uh, I wanted to, I wanted to tape Gerard today, Paul, can you hear me? But I have no, I have no sound. I didn't get that resolve with Kathy yesterday. I have no sound, so I'm not going to be able to tape him because I won't be able to hear him. So you'll have to do it. Well, you could say whatever you want yesterday. You could have, I kind of, I almost was going to joke in the room about that yesterday because I couldn't hear what you were saying. Because I was like, I thought you were going to say something about my market call. <laughs> you probably did. Not, not knowing that I couldn't hear you, you probably said something. All right, it went, th this five minute here, if, which is not gonna close till 10.05, but <clears throat> I, I'm gonna put the stop over this five minute. It's, it's nowhere near closing, but I'm probably going to. It should be underneath our price, but, but you gotta wait.
impressions. I'm just sitting here waiting and watching this and just playing it through. And did a great job with this today. Picked the best thing, picked the right thing. I said NCOF, VRX, I'm not doing anything else. We did it, it worked. We did everything right. Perfect. There we go, it's gonna go again too. So it didn't help the kamikaze if anybody did it. Did anyone do that? I said 99 by 15 you could do. I didn't, I didn't do that because it would be pull my price down too much. Did anyone do it? If you did, it pooped you over it because this ran up here to 30. I lowered the stop originally now from the first one, and but I'm going to wait now to the bar closes on the five. After that closes, then I'm going to lower it, and then whatever happens, happens. It'll be under where we entered it. I think this is worth giving it another push, but I, you know, hasn't done it yet. <clears throat> I'm waiting for this to close. As of now, I gave you three different choices, okay? For you, Ashley, I would put it at break even. That's that's my training plan for you. Whatever your entry entry price is for the rest, Ashley, put it at break even. There. And Journey Woman too. This is still gonna go though. This is still gonna go, and I gotta tell you, this is this behaved well today. With the one exception of this rally back here and retesting the high, but behaved like an angel. I mean, we uh, nine million shares before the open. This pharma is wild to begin with. This could have had tails, and I, I prepared you to be stopped out. I said, you know that we may take this, and if we get stopped out, we're taking it again. We didn't even need that. I directed us beautifully today, but I will tell you that this did behave like an angel, considering the stock. <clears throat> Could have been a lot harder. It, w it was easy comparatively. You did it twice, Ashley. If you're in this a second time, if you're in this a second time, I don't know what you're doing with this. I put the stop. Then, if you're in this a second time, Ashley. I, I don't know what you're doing here with this. I put the stop at 23.50. 23.50 or bust for you. But if you don't have a stop in, Ashley, and you're in it, then what's your risk? See, this is some of you are, 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 are taking the calls I make, but you're, you're not sizing yourself the same on every call. That is, a, that is a huge thing that has to be resolved for some of you. I can't believe we're still talking about it. We should have done a discussion about that this week. But the bottom line is, if you're in a trade and don't have a stop in, what is your risk? You just made one trade this morning and you made money. If the second trade works and you risk more than you made in the first trade, then you're going to be down in the day, which is insanity because I, everything I've called in this has been beautiful. Everyone should be at money today. You have to know how much money you're risking and have the stop in before you take the trade. Here, this is going to go again. If you have the original stop, then okay. All right, here, VRX. Let's all lower the stop now. We're going to put it at... Doo, 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 doo. I don't even think we need it at 50 anymore. But let's, put it at, let's put it at 50, just in case we get a taily thing. There, 23.50 or bust. And actually, you could you could take this again. You could do a brand new trade here, 10 by 50. 10 by 50, and, and the stops in this today were just not small. In fact, the smallest stops today of any of the ones, which I didn't do because we were doing this, but they and they both hit at the same time, was this. And I'm glad I didn't call a kamikaze in this because I wanted this to rally back more, and it's rallying back more now. So here you go. You could short this in the five minute. I didn't want to call the one minute at 9.50, 9.55. Bottom line is, you know, a lot of things did not work today, so we picked the right thing. I mean, Ralph the Wren ended up opening and, and, and never setting up right, but it was a valid gap to watch, and it could have worked. It never triggered. Uh, the other one was the true. I did not end up rating this. I really didn't like it. I don't know what it would have rated, but this didn't work either. JBL didn't work either. So the only one was ENDP that worked, or the VRX, which we did. Whew. Let's click 
take a look at the market. Market is trying so hard to get over the high. I don't even think it cares anymore about anything but getting over the high. All right, so I'm still in VRX. There's nothing I can do but just play it on out. Stop is 23.50. Everyone should be out of some of this. Half a quarter, the whole thing, whatever. You could have done one trade. You could have done two trades. You could have done one trade and then done an ad. Either way, everyone's up. I didn't call anything else officially today, but ENDP actually worked too. RL flipped. I didn't look at any longs. There wasn't any reason to. Here, under 23, VRX should fall right down to the low. And today's conclusion is that I need to take more vacations. Although Paul probably doesn't want to hear that. All right, anyone have any questions about anything else? Anyone have any questions about anything else? I think, I think maybe Paul can get on and talk, or maybe Gerard. I, I, mean, I could be in this for another 15, 20 minutes. I don't know. I don't want to, I don't want to sit here and just not speak for 20 minutes because everyone will be up if we get stopped out at 23.50 that's underneath our price i don't have anything else to talk about i i have no sound help me figure out the sound i'd like to hear what you say so you don't talk about me does anyone know how to fix the sound Very annoying What Gerard says. So I don't want Gerard to talk until I get the sound fixed. Deal? I'm going to call Kathy quick. I don't know what you mean by bounce, Jean. I'm going to call Kathy quick. I'll be right back. Make sure the stop is at 23.50. I mean, that's, that's all the patience I have with it today. Where do I check the speaker's paw? Right in the room where I would check them. <laughs> 